Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate what to do if your valve falls into the cylinder. There you can see the valve stem, it's being compressed by this rope so it can't fall in. But what happens if you didn't follow the correct procedure, maybe someone forgot to put the spring on, whatever, and that valve falls in, well I'll show you how to solve that problem. This happens to be a BMW 750V8, it's got a lot of valves, 16 valves on this side, and there's the seal which would go over that valve and uh, it's common practice to change them because because oil falls in there and the engine starts to smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that valve fall in the engine. Alright, so there comes the rope. Right, so I'm going to crank the engine now and I'm going to crank it until that piston gets to the bottom so that the valve can fall in all the way. Right, and I've put the spring in here to show me that the piston is uh, at the bottom. So that valve would actually fall in. Let's check it out there. Almost. Almost. Now if you listen, you'll actually hear it fall in. Here we go. It's in. It's falling in the cylinder now. Look at that. Now what do you do? Right, now I'm going to show you the valve in the engine. I've got a little camera here and I'm going to insert it here and as I rotate it the valve should come into view. There you go. You see there's the valve resting on the piston. Actually quite nice because you can inspect the valve and you can see this has got quite a high mileage on it. So there's the valve resting on the piston and I'm going to leave that camera in there Right, now I'm going to try and grab it with my tool and I'm going to show you this tool in a second and you can see how how this tool being so magnetic I can actually um, maneuver this valve quite accurately I mean look at that Right, so here's my magnetic fishing line you can see that this part is straight and you can see that this part here allows me to turn. This is very important that you can turn it and uh, you can see that length is about 20 centimeters. Now I've got this uh, what I call my guide wire. It's really just uh, some electrical wire. This is a neutral wire. Call it uh, this is 2.5 mil and I'm just going to bend it like that. You see they're just making a bit of a bend and on the other side I've got this uh, handle here to twist it. So you can see that this is going to allow me to nudge that valve. So the first step is to put your uh, fishing line in there and it actually already gets onto the valve. I mean I can I can actually feel the valve moving and I did show that on the camera but the only thing is it, the valve is leaning so you need to use this guide wire now to to actually lift the valve so that when you pull the uh, magnetic fishing line it will come straight up right, now you can see that as I turn it can you see the fishing line is being bumped which means I'm actually bumping the valve so all I really need is that valve to go it's leaning like that I just need it to go like that remember this is a V8 so the valve is leaning like that as I said this is a V type engine so you can see that the cylinder head is actually at an angle and that's why the valve wants to lean downwards uh, if you have a look here here's another example you could jack up the car on the one side to try and get the engine more vertical I did do that but it doesn't make a major difference because it's actually not that difficult to get the valve out as I'm going to show you Okay, so I'm showing you this in fast motion. Uh, it did take a couple of tries. Now, this is not the first time I did it. I first made the tool, did it, and then I decided to make a video. So I dropped the, the valve in again. So this is actually the second time, and this time was much quicker now that I developed the method. And uh, this thing came out within 10 minutes. Right, so I'm going to try again. You can see that I've just bent this guide wire so that it's got a bit of a curve in it. Don't tug on the fish line too vigorously as the valve will drop off. I'm just trying to lift it a bit. Yeah, there, I've got the valve. You can actually hear it. So I'm going to basically lift the bottom of the valve and then fish it out. 
right gently 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 uh, so there's the valve Right, so there you can see I've successfully fished out this valve. The valve cannot fall in anymore because I've cranked the engine and now you can continue your job. Right, so this is the fish line and I'm going to tell you how to make your own one. This is 1.5 millimeter electrical wire. So what I did is I took electrical cable. This is twin plus earth. There you see it's a solid core and I just took about a 40 centimeter length. Uh, it doesn't matter the color. So this one is red and then I'll just show you how to make it. So I'm going to break this one in order to make another one. Right, now you will need something called a neodymium magnet. Now these are three of them. You don't have to use three. I just used three. And uh, all I did is I attached it to the end of that wire. So how would you attach it? If you start using insulation tape, you'll find that it's too fat. So all I did is I then took heat shrink and the first step is to put it on the wire the reason why you put the first heat shrink here is because you don't want it to just slide off if you had to uh, put these magnets in the heat shrink you'll find this happens and because that's too fat you see the difference between the thickness of the magnet and the wire is too great so what I recommend is you first put this heat shrink there like that and then you put that heat shrink on top of it and you don't have to use three in a row. Um, I did. So I'm just going to, I'll just use two now. And very important step. Don't leave it like that. You see, if you leave it like that, um, that magnet can pop out of there. So what you want to do is you want to put, push the magnet a little bit in. So here, just to recap, there's the heat shrink. And I'm going to light it. See the rubber on the rubber has high friction, it can't uh, just come off. Now you can just cut it there so that at least it's flat. Now what you want to do is you want to insert that in like that and very important to let that overlap so that um, the magnet cannot squeeze out of there. So all I do is I do this. Now can you see how it wraps over that magnet? That stops the magnet from sliding out. Although it is tight here, it stops the magnet from sliding out. Now I just push that in as much as possible and now I just take the heat shrink and rotate this and there you go you've just made yourself a fishing tool now if you use good quality heat shrink you'll find that once it's cooled down this does not actually just come out obviously when you're threading this into the uh, valve stem uh, channel don't let it get caught and then pull it hard obviously just wiggle it if it does get caught there is a bit of a uh, there's a bit of a raised part there but it's still thinner than the valve itself and there you go there's your fishing tool now for the guide wire here it is this is a 2.5 millimeter cable and all I used was once again electrical cable twin plus earth but just 2.5 millimeter thickness the reason why I use the thicker one is when I use the thinner one when I twisted the, the handle here um, it just kind of deformed inside the cylinder so this one was quite uh, stiff and this one is able to lift the valve and to just give you an idea the thickness of the valve is right so you can see the thickness of the valve at 6.59 millimeters but if you look at the neodymium magnet you'll see that it is much narrower I and mean, you can see how it can freely move in there and if I squish it you'll see 5.47 and that's because the heat shrink is quite thin the actual thickness of the magnet is uh, basically five millimeters now if you had to use insulation tape you'll see that it is much too thick and also the insulation tape doesn't stick as well as heat shrink I did try to look for other tools and this telescopic arm is probably the best that I found but as you can see the mouth the head here sorry is way too thick I'd never be able to get that through that hole where the valve stem comes through and lastly just to test how good the heat shrink is there is a wrench and that's uh, weighing 431 grams and I mean there's the the tool there's the magnet the neodymium and you can see how it picks it up. Obviously, if I wiggle it, it might uh, might fall off, but not too bad, as you can see. All right, so good luck, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Cheers.